Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Consolidating data refers to making a worksheet that adds, subtracts, or performs some other mathematical operation on information gathered from multiple other worksheets. For example, if you had a workbook that had quarterly accounting balances on four separate worksheets, you could create a single consolidated worksheet that adds the data from the four separate worksheets together into a single annual worksheet. You can consolidate data from up to 255 different sources. You can even create links to the original source data in the consolidated sheet that let it update when information in one of its linked worksheets changes. When used this way, consolidating worksheets is like doing a very large PACE special. Before consolidating data, be sure to open all the workbooks that contain the data to consolidate. You must refer to the cells that contain the data you want to consolidate, and selecting these references is much easier when the workbooks are already opened. Next, you must select the destination cell for the results first. This is the cell that becomes the upper left corner of the final consolidated data. After selecting this cell, then click the Consolidate button in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab of the ribbon to open the Consolidate dialog box. In the Consolidate dialog box, then use the function dropdown to select the mathematical operation to perform on the consolidated data. You must then enter the worksheet cell references for the data to consolidate into the All References list. To use the Reference field to add the individual worksheet references to the All References list, Click the Expand Collapse dialog box button at the right end of the reference field to collapse the entire Consolidate dialog box down to only the reference line. Then click the Worksheet that contains the first cell range reference to consolidate. In this worksheet, click and drag over the cells to use as the first reference in your consolidation. Then click the Expand Collapse dialog box button at the right end of the reference field to expand the Consolidate dialog box again. To add the reference you just made into the All References list, click the Add button to the right of the All References list to add the reference currently shown in the Reference field into the list. Then repeat the process of selecting the other cell references until you have added all of the cell references needed for your consolidation into the All References list. Next, you need to determine how to consolidate the information in the cell references. The references can either be consolidated by category or by position. When you consolidate cell references by category, the adjacent row and or column headings for each reference you select become the categories by which Excel consolidates the data in the final consolidated worksheet. For example, if consolidating multiple worksheets that have the exact same headings, like quarter 1, quarter 2, etc., then you will probably want to consolidate by category. Doing this lets Excel use the headings to consolidate the data, even if they aren't in the same place within the individual worksheets from which you are consolidating. Also note that if you consolidate by category, you must also select the row and column headings by which to consolidate the data in addition to the data you want to consolidate in each worksheet reference. Doing this then lets Excel consolidate the data by the matching category names. You must also check either or both checkboxes for the top row and or left column in the Use Labels In section in the lower left corner of the Consolidate dialog box based upon where the category labels are in the cell references you selected. Excel then consolidates the data using the labels in the places you indicate. You must do this to consolidate by category. Alternatively, you can also consolidate worksheet data by its physical position in the selected cell reference. When consolidating by position, Excel doesn't care what the titles of the selected rows or columns are. They shouldn't even be selected in your cell references when consolidating by position. All Excel needs to know when consolidating by position is where the data is in the worksheet cell reference. If consolidating by position, you must use worksheets that have the data to consolidate in the exact same position in each referenced worksheet for this to work properly and have the resultant consolidated data have any worthwhile meaning. When consolidating by position, Excel consolidates the data in the cell references based on its physical location within the worksheet cell references you select. 
To consolidate by position, you simply do not check anything in the Use Labels in section of the Consolidate dialog box. Finally, you must decide whether or not to check the checkbox for Create Links to Source Data. This checkbox, if checked, creates a link back to the original data sources in the final consolidated data, updating the consolidation when the original data changes. If you choose this method, your resultant consolidated data contains references back to the source data cells within inserted columns or rows. Excel then outlines and hides these references, so the consolidated data appears like a normal outlined worksheet. You can click the plus and minus signs on the consolidated worksheet to view the detailed data it received from the original worksheet references. If you do not check the Create Links to Source Data checkbox, then Excel simply inserts the consolidated data values into the destination area. However, if values in one of the original data sources changes, it does not update the consolidated data. When you are ready to perform the data consolidation, click the OK button in the Consolidate dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.